crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Blaze here for crackberry.com and in my hands here is of course the Blackberry Bold 9900. Now I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick look at the compass application that is built into the Blackberry Bold 9900 and of course other Blackberry 7 devices that will be uh, eventually released. The compass application is on the 9810 and it's coming to the Torch 9850 and the 9860 as well. Uh, the compass application actually works in combination with the magnetometer that is built in. Now if you're still kind of fuzzy about what a magnetometer is, um, basically it measures the magnetic fields on Earth. Um, for our purposes, the short explanation of it is that it will uh, help with uh, increasing GPS accuracy and um, also helps create um, applications, augmented reality applications like Wikitude and such. So location-based services and uh, like Telenav, Foursquare, stuff like that will benefit from having the magnetometer built in as well as the compass application. Now the compass application is actually kind of cool. It doesn't really serve much purpose for me but I'm pretty sure there may be some people out there that can actually make use of it for what it was intended for. Um, as you see it does work and there's the tune-up window that does pop up when you haven't uh, calibrated the actual compass. Now as you guys can see on the screen there, um, the calibration method is actually kind of funny for it. So uh, compass tune-up, you have to move away from metal, then flip and tilt your device repeatedly until it buzzes. So like I say, it's kind of funny, so you kind of have to just basically flip your phone around a few times and there goes the buzz and it's calibrated at that point so um, that's basically it when you have it calibrated then it should be working as uh, as expected um, there are a few options that you can choose from in here like uh, you can calibrate it whenever you do so wish um, the option for display settings so you can turn your latitude longitude display format on turn it into what, however you wish to have it viewed um, you can pick true north or you can pick magnetic north and set the global map services so for example if you have um, google maps installed if you have blackberry maps installed it's just basically the fonts and the cache sizes, the system of measurement, the, you know, like the imperial uh, kilometers, miles, whatever. However you wish to go ahead and view it. Um, again, it does integrate with BlackBerry Maps, so you can pull up your own location on the map and have it load everything up. And it shows that I'm in Dartmouth, but we can actually zoom in a little bit there, find out how accurate it really is. I guess I reached the zoom level I uh, and that's uh, that's pretty accurate for where I am it's got me on the right street and it looks like I'm pretty pretty much right where my building is so it pulled down the information rather quickly and if you wish to go ahead and set a destination or anything like that it does allow for that so you can pull it up and let's see how fast it pulls down information I'll check my mom's address See how fast it pulls it up. There. And again, you can tap in on wherever it is. You can choose your option. And then once you tap in on it, it tells you exactly how far it is to your destination and everything. Now, I'm not entirely too sure uh, what else you can do with the application beyond this. Uh, but like I say, there will be later integration that will come with it and hopefully make better use of it so that uh, everybody can utilize it. Um, that's it. That's pretty much uh, a good look at the Compass application and showing you guys exactly how it works. Uh, blaze out!